Hi, Alan SoCal. I'm going to review the uh, Mapombo brand. Uh, it's actually a converter and an adapter. comes as a kit. And uh, as you see this uh, rotating, here's the, uh, the uh, image of the unit. And uh, coming around the bend is the actual uh, voltage converter kit in the case. Probably one of the nicest cases I have for all of my voltage converters. So I'm prefacing the uh, quick review by saying this. Uh, we travel to South America and have over many years. Um, and when we're in, for instance, Brazil, um, the voltages, it depends where you're at. If you're in a major city, sometimes it's 110 uh, in rural areas, in the interior, and uh, a lot of these cities that we have family and friends in and where we visit, it's 220. So, I have used more than one type of converter. And in the old days, we had to use transformers. I don't remember these being available. But okay, so after you open up the case, this uh, zipper molded case, uh, there's a strap unit here, of course, uh, that holds the um, converter down. And then on uh, one side of the uh, converter, you've got uh, room to uh, put the three uh, plug adapters. Now, there are two documents that come with this, and I heartily recommend you uh, scan through both of them. Uh, this one, I didn't think did a real good job of explaining what you really need to be aware of. When you put the adapter plugs, I'm just going to grab a very typical 220 plug. This is the one I most usually would use in Brazil. When you're ready, to insert, drop down the adapter. First thing you'll do, I brought the, uh, what we know is uh, a US uh, standard 110 uh, plug. I have that in the uh, down position. Uh, actually, uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to put the adapter on and that needs to be up. You then come from the top and push down. Now what they're talking about with a safety line, the safety line that they are talking about, and I want to make sure you see this, it's right here. If you don't push down far enough, it won't seat correctly. You'll not have a good connection to 220, and trust me, at 220 volts, you want to be secure. So basically for any of these adapters, you push down securely, and I just pushed all the way. Actually, I hadn't uh, done it all the way. I, I thought I had. It should seat so far that it covers up uh, the safety line. In fact, I'm going to look again. Yes, I've covered the safety line. Now, this is brand new, so uh, I really haven't seated in the... Um, the adapters onto the, uh, you know, the built-in plug. So let me take it out again. Okay, so first things first, make sure that the adapters are properly seated. That's this document right here. That's what they're trying to tell you. Okay, so that aside, uh, I made some notes for the review. Okay, and um, let me turn it around. I'm also going to take these cap, uh, these uh, caps off, the plug caps for the output and adapter. Okay, take this one off. Just pull them off. Just friction held in place by friction. Okay, um, one of the uh, things I wanted to mention, important point, and it's in my written review. The upper plug, what I call port number one, this upper plug is titled AC adapter. This is an adapter plug, okay? This is not um, considered a, uh, uh, a conversion. 
So whatever voltage you're feeding into the uh, converter, this is the output. So if you want to use a, um, uh, let's say you're, you're feeding through to a, uh, a 220 device or a 110 device, whatever you're plugged into, be very, very aware that the upper plug does no conversion. If there's 220 on this side, there's going to be 220 on this side. The only time you want to plug an American device in here is if your device is dual voltage. And if it's dual voltage, you want to make sure that you've either uh, set a switch on that device, because a lot of them that I have and I've used uh, down south um, like a hair dryer, handheld hair dryer, for instance, there are little switches, um, and you shove it one way and it's for 110, you shove it the other way and it's 220. So before you plug in here any of your devices when you're traveling, remember whatever is on this side of the converter as far as voltage level is what you're getting here. Okay? And of course, these. Uh, two uh, prongs would be in the up position and you would have, for instance, if I were in Brazil and um, I pushed all the way down to the safety line, and yes, it's there. Uh, so I plug this into the socket, okay? If there's 220 here, there is 220 here. If there's 220 here, there's going to be 110, 120 down here. So the top is simply an adapter for your American plug. Here, this gets you into whatever outlet you've got available uh, in whatever country you're in. So um, it's a pass-through. That's all it is. And for good reason, because if you have a, uh, a dual-voltage American appliance, remember the plug's going to just have these standard prongs uh, on it, you couldn't get it into the wall, so this becomes the adapter. Enough said. Just want to make sure you don't hurt yourself or have a problem and uh, damage your, uh, your traveling uh, items. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is wattage. Without going into great uh, electromechanical electronics detail, um, this device is really not recommended for very small low wattage devices. I can think of some appliances like uh, electrical shavers that I've had in the past, very very low voltage or uh, excuse me low wattage. However I will tell you something, they caution you about this uh, anything uh, 25 watts and under in power consumption, you can read the label on whatever device you're using. Most of those items in today's world are either dual voltage fed, they go into a, a little transformer device, a power block, which is dual voltage. Like, uh, for instance, for your, uh, your computers, uh, any of your small electronic uh, devices. So, you're not really going to be concerned about low wattage. Typically, the reason you're getting this is for the bottom port so that you can use what I'd call resistive devices like an iron for clothing or an electric heater that has resistive coils in it um, and other high wattage, high wattage consumption devices. The next item uh, is, and it's really uh, my last item, it's price. Uh, I've, we literally have probably five or six conversion kits. Uh, this currently is priced at, it is priced at $30. Um, and uh, I checked uh, current uh, prices on the Amazon page and uh, most of the uh, conversion devices start at about 30. So the pricing is well positioned. Uh, I have used this unit. I recommend it. I think it's a good unit. Uh, 
So that's it. I, uh, I would say that um, because it's small and compact, because it uh, offers both um, adapter function so that you can use a dual voltage device even though the plug on the dual voltage is only for a US type outlet. And then you also have the function of voltage conversion. And of course that's what this is all about. I think it's at a good price. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend it to family and friends. In fact, I have. So there.